Adding a shade arbor to an outdoor space is a relatively simple process that adds character and, of course, shade. Setting the post is the first step. In this case, they'll go in the ground beneath the deck we're resurfacing. By digging the holes adjacent to the deck joist, the posts can be secured to the joist to stabilize them in a perfectly plumb position while we pour concrete into the holes. The depth of that hole will be determined by your local building codes and the frost line in your area. The colder the climate, the deeper the hole. This arbor will be independent of the house so the posts are positioned far enough from the home's overhang so that the beams don't contact the house. The bottom of the arbor's band joist will be even with the bottom of the home's fascia board, so we're using the level to mark that point on the post before measuring up the height of the joist to mark the post for cutting. We're marking all four sides because the post's thickness requires multiple cuts to get through it. The band joist around the outside will get miter cuts on each end so that no end grain is showing. We're tacking them in place with nails as they are positioned and leveled, but later we'll add long lag bolts to secure them more thoroughly. The joists that rest on top of the band joist are 2 by 8s with a decorative cut on one end and a simple bevel on the other end. The bevel cut on the back simply gives us clearance from the roof. The decorative cut and the spacing of the joist are a matter of personal preference, but they should be consistent all the way across the arbor. The overhang should also be consistent. Setting the two outside joists first and pulling a string between the ends is a really good way to ensure that consistency. These joists are attached by toenailing them from both sides into the band joist beneath them. To continue the overhang look on the adjacent side, we've cut pieces with the same decorative cut at the length of the overhang. We're attaching these to the side of the perpendicular joist with 3-inch deck screws driven in from the back side. This is more easily done if you attach these before installing the last long joist on that side. The result is both an attractive and functional addition to your outdoor living space.